Hi everybody and we're back in the Bluebird Project Workshop for a big build Saturday on the Ford RS200 chassis. We've mended all the big bits, we've mended all the small bits and now we're going to try for once and for all with a full suite of glue and rivets to put in this A post. Never done one before, if it goes well it could be fabulous, if it goes wrong it could be a major catastrophe. So I'll give you a quick look at where we're at and then we'll get right into it. So cross your fingers and toes. Sit rep. Uh, I have made a panel there to go from where the edge needed corrected back to here. Now that is a good inch past where, well, more than an inch past where the jacking point goes. So the jacking point fits through a hole in there. I've roughed that out. I've roughed the bottom away so it all clears. Jacking point goes there. That has to load last. But the point is this panel here has a much, much bigger footprint than that, which is all you had before. So I've roughed that out. Next, I am going to make a panel for the top to marry up with this one. I'm going to weld that there. I'm going to make a panel for the top and weld that there. And that will give us those two sides and the front. And then we've got an aluminium spreader down the back to collect that side. So we're basically going to have this much of the sill connected to the A post on three sides and then a brand new floor. And if that doesn't do it, nothing will. I did a bit of a silly thing earlier. I set all this up and it wasn't quite where I wanted it and I welded it. And I didn't want to weld it, but I had to make sure everything stayed still. I had wanted to drill holes in here first because it's much easier to weld them without flat on the drill press than it is to try and do it as part of a, an air pillar. So I set the camera up and I filmed it all. And then I realized I'd not turned the microphone on. So I've got a lovely piece of camera with no audio. So the short version is, that's now stuck. I didn't intend to stick it yet, because now I've got to drill holes on the vertical face instead of lining it down flat. But, such is life, we'll get around it. Welded, welded, tacked. That's now solidly attached to that, which is solidly attached to that, we'll have three pins. The back of this is attached to three pins around there. This is all nice and solid now. I'm now gonna make that fit properly. So I can attach that to that, to that, to that. And there's no way that front corner is gonna get away from anything after that. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is knock a joggle in, a little step, I'm gonna put a step along that line so that it will step over the original material, which I can leave in place and it'll give it a little bit of extra strength and I won't be welding edge to edge where it's just a pain. So I set up a couple of rulers which are really good for this because they're hard and they're obviously straight. And that fits there, very neatly. And I'll put some plug welds in that and that will attach solidly and this will go down onto the, onto the top of the sill. And that will give us a solid corner and there's a lot of stuff to go on the inside to make sure that doesn't move either. So now I've got to drill a picture rivet all the way around there um, with this, as I say, all attached. That can just go flat in the drill, which is very handy. And I've got to finish the welds, dress it off, and I think we'll be ready to glue that in. That'll be fun. Let's go. So while I was getting ready to drill holes, some of the other chaps were on some other parts of the car. Albie went back to his attachments that he's made to fix the floors around the inside of the footwells and give him a little bit of bringing up to date, drill some holes, tidy up, uh, just make sure they're spot on. <laughs> have you calibrated your hammer, Albie? Yeah, yeah. Right, where have we got to? Just need that tacking, please. Right. Yeah, we'll weld that up. And they're all the 316s? Yep. There are three sixteens. I'm all being D bird. D bird and the other ones Got are all here. Noggin. Joggle. Joggle, you know. <laughs> paint stripper, of course, can just be left to get on with it. Well, now that we've got some proper paint stripper, oh, like that dreadful plant-based nonsense they try to sell with B&Q that doesn't actually strip paint. And while all of that was going on, John and Gordon dismantled the opposite side to put a small fix on the plywood floor that we had to do on the other side, which we think is a carryover from some damage on the old aluminium panel that we used as a template. I think it's stretched. So I'm going to take that off and take a little slice out of the timber floor down here. Just make it all line up. Yeah, so if you come from that corner yep. across to 
here. Yeah, cool. yeah, just shave that bit off. Although the wooden floors are very faithful copies of the old aluminium skins that we took out of there, this problem's occurred on both sides, so we think we've just captured a bit of damage to the floor, so we're just going to work it out again from here. And then fine tune in a little panel for this side too. Mm -hmm. there. Look at that. <laughs> Excellent. Gordon is on the hammers. <laughs> This is a moment not to be missed. <laughs> what you can't see is everybody standing watching him. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. What have you done there, Gordon? Ah, oh, it's like something I'll be built. <laughs> It'll fix. I'd be proud of that. He'd be well chuffed with that. It'll be wrong way out because he's left-handed. Ah, oh, you're doing fine, Gordon. Don't take any notice of them. Just give an owl one of clever Barry's piston rings to look at. What a piece of engineering that is. <laughs> it's super duper, isn't it? Oh, it is. How many pistons was it, though? 12. So There's 24 in the other engine. Yeah. So 36 total. So this is yeah. a, one, a one fifth scale. One fifth scale. Piston ring for a one fifth scale Merlin engine. Rolls Royce Merlin piston ring. Absolutely beautiful. And for anyone who's not yet seen Clever Barry's fully working fifth scale Rolls Royce Merlin engine, I shall pop a link to it at the end of this film. It's incredible. Yeah, Gordon, the camera. I'm over here, Gordon. That's on. That's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's done one again. Oh, he's going to win a BAFTA, Gordon. I tell you. But he's filming. Right, I'm going to glue this on here. Just a little bit so I can finish it on the bench. Right, we've got that. Okay, that is all settled up. I'm going to finish the welds on this and then it's rivet time. Trick is to do it in little bites and never let it get hot because the aluminium honeycomb underneath is stuck together with glue and if you heat the glue, the glue stops working, falls apart. Little bites. Time to do a spot of grinding. Get a few pins in, John. Can we remember how to mix glue? <laughs> Tell you after we've done. <laughs> How's your corner coming, Gordon? Drill a hole in there for the jacking point? Yep. Yeah, cooking with gas now. I'm a little concerned that when we start putting rivets in, because we can't pull very hard with pins, when we put rivets in, this might start to move, you know. Oh, drill it and pin it. This is where you find out if it's not quite right. Because there's one thing looking at it and going, yeah, that looks marvellous. It's another thing when you actually pull it down as things start to move. Yes. This whole thing might move. I'm going to stay across the diagonals on this. Glue! Green custard. Should we load the corner, John? Yes. Right. Where's the corner? Ta da! Ta -da. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Mm -hmm. That's a common seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, come and say it then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. You never know, I'm really stuck for things to say. We've had to give him something to say, otherwise he's just going to explode. There'll be bits of burst Alby all over the ceiling as he couldn't go and tear himself. Yeah, you commentate, Alby, and at least what you're saying is relevant, because normally we'll be putting oh, pins in. Oh, watch the oozage. Watch the oozage. Because normally we'll be putting skin pins in, and the background is all right, yeah, Liverpool today, yeah, scored 47 goals against Tottenham. <laughs> and it's irrelevant. <laughs> so you can commentate, Albie. Yeah. They've equalised. Look what I'm doing now, Calf. <laughs> <laughs> Bill said it was a good idea. <laughs> it's, what, it's what he does when Strictly's on, look. 
But the worry is here, the front of that sill isn't perfect and the bit that's onto it isn't perfect and it's okay now, but when you put a load of rivets in, stuff moves. Yeah. And we're okay so far. You want You've got a little joystick controller there, you can... Oh, nice. Why is it? Why is it Look at that, because it does its own thing. It's great, that. It's great, that. Right, just onto the corner there, Gordon. Pick a corner, any corner, yeah. Just want to check my diagonals, because when the rivets start to go in, <laughs> I want to make sure nothing bad happens, right? What have we got there? 1730. Right, same the opposite way. Right. <laughs> is that the same, is it? Uh, basically the same position. Yeah, well, we're, we're, yeah, we're same side for side at this point. Right, so at the minute, we've got no tension on anything. We seem to be okay. I didn't mess about. Are they pulling all right, John? It's going, it's going. Let's check this again, Gordon. Corner again, yeah. Same corner. Same corner. There. Same corner. Hang on, hang on. Stop a second, John. Just, just. What's the matter? Because it's, it's, that's not where I left it. And just check that going. Do the other one. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think that's where I left it. No. Yeah. Mm, not where I left it. How many rivets you got in? Ten. Oh, the, the top of them? Half and half. Five and say five in the top. That's gone about ten mil. Honestly. Yeah, it's got about 10 mil with 10 rivets. So it's pulled that much? It's pulled that much. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You can't really stop now. No. Ah, this is the worst nightmare time. Do a few more, we'll check in a minute. That's all we can do. Yeah. And do some more. Hang on, I just want to check the diagonal again. Right. Where's the first Yep. Oh, we've got another one. How many do we need? <laughs> right, how many? <laughs> how far on are you now, John? Oh, about 15. Top and side now. Top and side. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell John. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not drilling them out. <laughs> you couldn't drill them out, they're stainless. Oh. And the glue's not going to wait till Monday. Um, um, I think you're just going to have to, um, <laughs> you have to keep going, John. I'm not telling you. I'm, I'm not telling you. <laughs> you're just going to have to keep going. And we'll have to give it a bit of a push me pull you and see. Um, just, it's all you can do. We're committed now. All right. We're committed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Show us how much it pulls in. It, wow, those rivets are strong. As strong as with a ton of pull in that box. That's all you can do, John. Just keep going, and well, it might right itself. It might right itself. Why don't you? Since it's all gone a queer shape, why don't we get Albie to do a few? <laughs> <laughs> because there's a fair chance if Albie does some, the shape will start to come back. If he uses the left-handed... If he just left-handed, it might undo. Yeah, I, I think we need left-handed Albie to do the last few and that might correct this, this shocking twist we're pulling in the chassis. Well, there's one thing's for sure. There's not much glue in it. If it is a disaster, it's going to be a real disaster. Because that'll not come up for Rolling. Yes. What I forgot to say was, if you like this, don't forget to subscribe. There you are. Not in this corner, though. Look, look that good. It looks good, yeah. but we've got to check it again. Yeah. You don't have to go to the shop or anything, do you, John? <laughs> <laughs> now, are you completely sure you don't have a quick message to run, John? Even just have a look in the street to check the weather or, or something. Yeah, clean, clean the rivet gun. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 Go that way, Gordon. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I, I'm, I'm going to send these away for calibration. Um, yeah, I'll get these calibrated and, and we'll try that next week. Is that all your rivets in, John? Yes. Is that all pulled down hard with nowhere left to go? Uh, these, these, these are wrong. Okay, these, they're wrong. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Right. So okay, best we can do. Yeah, that uh, that went all a bit wrong, and we now don't know where we're at because it's sort of in the right place, but there's a lot of stress on it. I don't know what shape it's going to be when it all settles down and the glue goes off. So we'll let you know in the next one. In the meantime, yeah, thanks for watching. See you shortly. Al is very determined that Debs are going to understand how you start an Embraer aircraft. He's, he's <laughs> damn well going to make sure she's got this down. She, she hasn't asked. No, <laughs> it's the lesser of two evils. It's either Al banging on about fuel switches on an Embraer, or I'll be I'll banging on about when he was a youth in Liverpool. Take your pick. I'll see how far we've got through the Embraer flight manual.